In this episode, you'll be writing your very first c -sharp program. Your program will simply print out some text to the console. Printing to the console is a nice way to get started and get used to the environment, and it, well, introduces you to your very first command. This is called console.writeline. Now, you may be confused. Here we have this thing called a console and a statement called write line. What's the deal with the period? And how about the parentheses? You'll learn about all these things soon enough. And well, here's the thing. As you learn a language such as C Sharp, you're going to see lots of things that you don't understand. You may be tempted to learn everything at once. You want to know what every bit of code means, but this only makes it harder for you to understand the core concepts. Instead, embrace your confusion. In time, it will make sense. You just need to get there one step at a time. Programs appear to be convoluted and not make much sense, but there is logic behind everything you do. And as you dive deeper into a language and programming in general, these things will become clear to you. Okay, we're going to get started writing our first C sharp program. Well, actually, I should say our first C sharp statement. Here I have my solution open and I have program.cs open. So if you don't have that open, you can look in the solution explorer over here and click program.cs. Now, again, we're not going to be breaking down what all these things do. You'll be learning it in time, but for now, we're just going to focus on writing this statement. Now you can see here, we have this thing called class.program in a static void main. So our statement's gonna go within here. And a little hint that this main program is run every time our program runs. Okay, so we're gonna write console. So we're gonna do console like that. And we're gonna hit the period button. And you can see we have all these various options that we can choose on the console. What we're gonna choose is called write line, like so. Now we'll provide some parentheses and within the parentheses, we'll provide what we call a string. And this is just simply text and we'll write hello world like so. And this is a, a standard C sharp or a standard programming practice. The first program you write is something that prints out hello world. Now you'll see over here at the end, we have this little red squiggle. This indicates that we have an error. And in our case, the error is that we're missing a semicolon. A semicolon is pretty much the period to the end of a regular sentence in English. All our statements in C-sharp must end with a semicolon. So we'll add that here and you'll see that squiggle goes away. And that is our first program. So this just simply prints it out. Now, one way to run the program is to hit this start button right here. But if you click it, you'll see this output goes here and then it just starts and stops. You may get this message here. You don't have to worry about that. We can just close this here. So we don't get to see the output of our program. And the reason is, is we're running in debug mode. So if I come up here, debug, you can see here, start debugging. If I want to actually see the output, I can click this button here, this start without the button or control F5. And when I do that, you'll see right away, we get our command window and it prints out the message, hello world. And if you click that, if you press space bar, it goes away. Now, believe it or not, we actually created a real program. In fact, we can see our program by coming into our solution explorer here. And I'm gonna right click the project and you can see here, we have all these different options. Actually, let's click this program like so. And you can see we have all these different options and you'll notice we have this one that says open folder in file explorer. So let's do that here. And where this is where our solution is being kept. And if we go into the bin file, right, or the bin folder, we have these two additional folders, debug and release. And if we just click on release, we can see we have beginning hyphen C sharp dot exe. And I can click that and that just runs that super fast, but we can actually see this in action if we type in PowerShell. And what I'm going to do is navigate to this path. And I can hit the tab and that will do autocomplete for me. And that's really helpful. And I will type release here. And if I hit LS, this is to list the contents of the directory. You can see we have our exe. I'll just hit BEG and then tab. And we have our program here. So if we click enter or hit enter, you'll see we get our program, hello world. 
Now, oftentimes you may want to comment your code when it's not exactly obvious to what you're doing. And what we can do here is we can above this console.write line, you can hit two forward slashes and you can see it changes a different color. And we can just write a comment. This is a comment. And essentially what's going to happen is the compiler, when it's making our program, converting our programming into machine code, it's going to ignore this. It's going to strip this out during that phase. So we can write whatever we want. Now for multi-line comments, we can hit forward slash and then asterisk, and you can see we have multiple lines we can add to. And when we're done, you can hit another forward slash again. And again, we can add whatever we want in here like so. And again, this is removed. Now Visual Studio actually provides us a shortcut. So if we wanted to comment this out, we can either do that ourselves, we can select this line, and then we can cl click this button right here and it adds it for us. And then if we click this button, it removes the comment. Typically programmers, when they're making a change that is only temporary, they will comment out certain lines of code. And then when they're done doing what they're doing, they can comment it back in again. So we have that option built right into Visual Studio. How'd writing your first program work out for you? Were you overwhelmed or was it easier than you thought? Let us know in the comments below and keep on coming back for more C-Sharp videos.